Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Texas Pain Network. Today's topic is the basics of celiac plexus blocks. A celiac block is an outpatient procedure. It's used to relieve pain from abdominal conditions such as pancreatitis, cancer, Crohn's disease, IBD, and more. It can also help provide diagnostic information, so it really does serve two purposes. It can prevent the nerves of the abdominal plexus from transmitting pain signals to the brain. So the celiac plexus is a bundle of nerves that sits in front of the diaphragm in back of the stomach near the aorta and it surrounds the celiac artery. So you can see the celiac plexus supplies sensation to a lot of structures. Esophagus, stomach, duodenum, kidneys, pancreas, spleen, liver, and then various other things like the sympathetic chain. Who does well with the celiac plexus block? Well, when a person is having pain from one of the abdominal organs, this block can relieve that discomfort. So as mentioned, pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, upper abdominal cancers, really any chronic abdominal pain. The injection is performed as an outpatient. The patient lays prone on his or her stomach, receiving uh, local uh, numbing medicine and IV sedation. Typically two separate needles are placed. You can see one on either side of the spine, avoiding the spinal canal altogether, and then going around it into the area of the celiac plexus. Once uh, the position is deemed to be accurate, dye is injected to make sure it's not inside a blood vessel. Um, and this is done for both diagnostic and therapeutic purpose. If it works, the doctor can say, aha, you know, this pain is occurring in, in this region. Um, and the pain doctor usually injects numbing medicine, possibly some steroid, and possibly some phenol. Phenol is an alcohol derivative that can give longer lasting pain relief. Are there risks with the procedure? The risks are small, but real, okay? Risk of infection, possibly some nerve injury, bleeding, anesthesia complication, rarely a collapsed lung could occur, and then possibly a transient hypotension or diarrhea. What are the outcomes? Three-fourths of patients receive excellent pain relief for these injections for all types of chronic abdominal pain conditions. Oftentimes, a series of injections is necessary with procedures every uh, few weeks, um, and it often reduces the need for opiate medications. Opiate medications for chronic abdominal pain just don't work so well, so these have been great for reducing the need for those. The top non-operative pain management in Texas is through the Texas Pain Network. There are several clinics throughout the state accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 treatment options with the board-certified physicians. For treatment in Austin, Visit us online today at painmanagementaustintx.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 512-456-8886. I'm Dr. David Green with the Texas Pain Network. Your pain stops here.